my keto butter pecan ice cream. Hello, my keto buddies. I'm coming to you today to do a, I'm actually doing a video on my butter pecan ice cream that I made. And I already recorded the video on how I made it. So this is kind of just like an intro of how it tastes and the consistency of it. Now, when I'm going on the video, I basically tell you guys how I made it because I had to tweak it. I just got an online recipe of the how to make it. And then I tweaked it um, so that it could be keto friendly. And so, this was just my taste test. It already tasted. It just, it really tastes really, really good. Consistency is really nice and creamy, extra creamy, actually. You can see that? Really, 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 really creamy. And, um, tastes really good, actually. I, I let my kids taste it and really good. So I made butter pecan ice cream keto style that I'm gonna go in and just let you guys see how I video record it um, how I did all the ingredients on it um, hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, some of the things on there I'll just tell you how I kind of just tweaked it to make it better for me like I said if you can see it's really creamy I did not make it with a um, I did not make it with an ice cream maker. I don't have an ice cream maker, but I did make it where I just let it freeze and then I will fluff. <gasps> oh, that fell down. Our um, fluff as it freeze, fluff, you know, like, like that. So that's how I did my, my keto you know, ice cream. I what hope you guys enjoy ice cream. Stay tuned. Bye. You're gonna take two tablespoons of butter You have a half cup of heavy whipping cream. You can also have two eggs lightly beaten. I did not add in there. You're gonna have the vanilla. I just used a cap full of that. And then you're gonna have a cup and a half of half and half cream. I went ahead and I'm gonna use more heavy whipping cream. And you're gonna have a half cup of pecans as you can see my pecans have been eaten out of so <laughs> um, I also left out of that part though um, you're gonna need also um, a cup of brown sugar packed but I went ahead and um, used the um, sucralose um, Splenda or Chuvia and as you can see now, I just basically took the butter and my pecans and I lightly browned my pecans in the butter. And where you will use the one cup of brown sugar. Um, after the pecans, you know, you know, started to get the caramel brown, even with the butter, I made sure it was on low. Um, you're gonna just enter in your um, sweetener. Um, like I said, I just used uh, Splenda. I know a lot of people like the Chuvia as well. And so I just entered that into um, the already um, browning pecans. Um, it did say on the original recipe to take the pecans out and just let them cool. And then I guess you could have just continued to brown the, um, the sweetener. So that's I just kept it in there and then I just browned everything together into... Um, I started to see it brown a little bit and if you find that it started um, burning a little bit you'll just turn the heat down a little bit on it so that it can continue to brown you want to continue to stir it you know frequently so you don't have one area burnt um, in this shot, I went ahead and added the cup and a half of the heavy whipping cream 
um, the original recipe asked for um, half and half. Like I said, I went on ahead and used um, heavy whipping cream because I wanted the max fat and the max, um, um, I wanted to, to have the max fat in it. So I just went on ahead and used the heavy whipping cream. And um, where it also said to use like uh, one tablespoon of butter, I actually used two tablespoons of butter. Cause like I said, I wanted the extra, extra. And then you go ahead and add a cup of vanilla. I almost did like I'm almost close to a, not a cup, but a cap full of the vanilla. Then I continued to turn, um, stir this in until everything um, became nice and almost like it was a caramel, almost, but not to the point where it was so thick um, that when you enter in more solids, it'll kind of caramelize. But so then I took my my rest of my um, heavy whipping cream and went on ahead and add a, a additional stick of butter in there. That's when I was telling you I used two tablespoons of butter, one for the pecans and then the other one to add into um, the half cup of heavy whipping cream and um, a stick of butter. And I went on ahead and allowed that um, cream to kind of warm up, not to the point where it was really really hot but just enough where I can enter into my egg mixture very slowly you didn't have to enter it all in but you want to make sure that it was entered in enough where you can kind of slightly cook the eggs and that's where the hot heat will come in at and um, you want to continue to briskly whisk with your whisk Here I just added my the solution that I was mixing with the eggs and the whipping cream, added it together, went ahead and put it back on the stove and allowed it to simmer on very, very low at the same time with spinning it all together. Um, at the same time I was got a bowl of ice, cold ice water, um, filled with ice and then I took my pan and I, um, this, your mixture can't kind of like, came out like a cluster. So you want to cool it rapidly. And so I stick the entire pan into the water and I let it just, you know, rapidly cool, um, while adding a little bit more of the heavy whipping cream. And again, I just stir it again. It's important, really important on this part to not cook your eggs. That's why you don't want the heat up on really high. You only want to um, warm it up on the stove to the point where the mixture is kind of sticking to the spoon just a little bit. Not thick, but just is lightly coating the spoon and not just falling right off. Um, but if you don't do it, if you do it too high, it will cook the eggs inside of your mixture. So you want to cook it on real low and you want to whisk really fast. On this part, I just went ahead and added in my um, pecan and my half and half mixture if you use half and half. And then I kind of put it all in together and I again stirred it where it mixed together. And now I noticed with the first mixture with the pecans, butter, and the heavy whipped cream, um, stirred together with this um, mixture that I made on the stove with the eggs, it really gave it this really buttery flavor, really almost like a buttery caramel flavor and consistency. I did that to the point where everything was nicely mixed and stirred in together. Um, as you can see, I'm just, you know, whisking away there. Um, so I used a mini blender, one of my smaller portions of my blender. And I kept, I put it in the freezer and I let it freeze for a while. Then every hour, hour and a half, I would bring it out and blend it. And then I would put it back in 